Hey, welcome to Cracks Country Cooking. I'm Ben, and today I'm gonna to show you made this. Super Bowl party platter. Now I don't like to use my good knife for trimming up wings, because you're hitting a bone. So, trimmings go in that bowl. It's a lot cheaper if you buy the whole wing, just do it yourself. Wings and flats in there. Now I'll put these aside for a broth. Homemade stock. Then we'll lay these out and get these seasoned up. Now I'll put these on a wire rack just so they're easy to transport. Upside down first, some kosher salt. Now we're going to be smoking these and then frying them so we're not going to put anything more on here right now than just salt. And we'll salt the top. Now we'll bring these out to the smoker. Right on the wire rack that we put them on, I got this on the smoke setting, and we'll let this go for a couple hours. So these hit 170 degrees. Now we can either put them in the fridge or deep fry them right now. And we'll place our wings in. Now we'll drop these in and let them go for about five minutes. All right, the wings are done. We'll drop them in the bowl. Half I'm doing salt, pepper, garlic. Half I'm doing our KCC Nashville Hot Dill. And toss. Here's our Nashville hot wings and our SPG wings. So let's make a ranch. Take one cup of mayo. Some sour cream. Buttermilk. Seasonings. Salt and pepper. In the mason jar, homemade ranch. Put this in the fridge and let it thicken. Now we're just gonna salt this one, just like the chicken wings. Cause this is going in a buffalo chicken dip. You don't really need too much seasoning on the outside. And we'll go throw this out on the Weber. So I have some Jealous Devil charcoal and some hickory chunks. To monitor the temps, we're gonna be using our Thermapro twin temp spike. And we'll pull this out when it hits about 160 degrees internal. So just insert that into the breast. Yep, I haven't looked at it since I put it on here. Looks pretty good. So this just went off. We'll take the temperature probe out. It's hot. Set it off to the side. Wrap this in foil so it rests. Keeps all the juices in there. Try like this. We'll let this rest for half an hour, 45 minutes. Now we can pull our chicken. We'll discard the skin. We'll put our chicken in here. Probably only need about half of this chicken. Put the other half away. So now we got the chicken pulled. We can add softened cream cheese. Mild sauce, some sour cream, some of our homemade ranch, and cheddar cheese. Now get that mix. Now we can put it in a pan and bake it. Smooth it out. Now bake covered. 375 degrees for 30 minutes. So I've rough chopped up some extra brisket I had. I'm gonna throw that into the food processor. And we'll put it on a chop mode and just give it a couple pulses. Now in a small bowl, some softened cream cheese, quarter cup of cheddar cheese, and about half of our brisket. 
Probably should have used a fork. We'll set that aside. So take your knife, right down the center. Now you want to take a spoon, you want to take a spoon, and just hollow that out. Take out all the seeds. We can take our hollowed out jalapeno. I rinse them off when I'm done to make sure there's no sh uh, seeds left in there. Go and spoon in our cheesy brisket mix. Just continue doing this until they're all filled. So now you want to take your jalapeno, take a piece of bacon, wrap it around like that. Do that with all of them, then we'll put them out in the smoker. Now we're going to season the top of it with our KCC Kentucky Bourbon Rub. Get this right on our website, crackscountrycooking.com. All right, now we'll throw this out on the smoker. Set at 385 degrees. We'll throw these in here for probably half an hour. Our jalapeno poppers are done. So while we wait for our yeast to bloom, we have our flour, double O flour, granulated garlic, Italian seasoning, and salt. Give that a quick mix. Now our yeast has bloomed, we'll pour it in with the flour, and we'll mix that on medium. Put some flour down. It's gonna be pretty sticky dough. Fold it by hand. So now we'll put this in a grease container, let it rise for about two hours. Roll out our dough, which has risen nicely. This smells awesome. And then get a rolling pin. If it doesn't want to go, just give it a couple minutes and then try again. Let the gluten relax. So as you can see, I let it rest for about 10 minutes and it rolled right out. So, now take your cheese, start on the end, roll, and then cut. Pinch the seam together. Twist the ends. Give that a pinch. And just continue that process, keep going down. Now with an egg wash, we'll brush our cheese filled breadsticks. And we'll place these in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. For the marinara, we need a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, tablespoon of brown sugar, and tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Give that a mix. Put that on the stove top over medium heat. So this one's the easiest to make. You want to take two blocks of softened cream cheese in a cast iron pan. Spread it out. So once that's spread out, you can take Hormel chili, beans or no beans, doesn't matter. Spread that out. Now you can use pre-shredded taco blend cheese. Sprinkle that across the top. Sprinkle some sliced olives on the top of that. Bake at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. I don't even know where to start. There's so much food here. Let's start with these crunchy breadsticks. Mm-hmm. Would have been nice if the cheese stayed in there, but it's nice and caramelized around the outside of it. Next, I'm gonna go for one of these jalapeno poppers. Yeah, nice. Brisket, cream cheese, 
bacon, jalapeno. The Kentucky bourbon barbecue rub over the top, really good. Gotta try these wings with their homemade ranch. Nice and crispy. That ranch is really good. Really gotta make the ranch. You really just need a mason jar and you can have homemade ranch. It's way better than the stuff you buy in the store. Our Nashville hot dill, a little heat. It's really good on the wings. Smoky, crunchy. Now let's try our buffalo wing dip. Our buffalo wing dip. That is really good too. Now our taco dip. Holy shit, it's hot. That was painful. It's really good though. The cream cheese on the bottom, you get the nice chili in the center with the taco cheese on the top, olives. It's really good. Um, that dip usually goes really fast. And if there's any leftover, the drunk people at the end of the party are chowing down on that all night. So that's my Super Bowl platter that I do. It's really good. Uh, hopefully your team wins. Don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Watch our past videos. We've got more videos coming out every week. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, threads. Of course, YouTube. Go to crackscountrycooking.com. we got recipes, seasonings, rubs, all sorts of stuff on there. All right, see ya.